We've had a lot of people asking how we built our house debt free. So this video is for you. This isn't a video on how to do it easily. It's a video on how we did it, so hopefully you can do it too. Now there's not a super secret way to doing this. It's gonna take sacrifice, it's gonna take downsizing, maybe saving money, and it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna require you to sell a bunch of stuff and it's gonna require you to do a lot of things that you've never done before, but that's what you gotta do to do something that you've never had. So here's seven super simple yet highly complicated steps to get you there. Because as we all know, there are no shortcuts to success in life. Step one, consider your goals. What size house do you actually want and can afford? So do you want something tiny like this? Do you want something smallish like this? Or do you want something larger like these? The choice is yours, but if you want to be debt free, you're going to have to make sure that you have the cash for it. Number two, the biggest thing that allowed us to be able to build this debt free was to work and get out of debt. We started Financial Beast University back in 2010 and it has been a godsend for us. We had over 32,000 in student loan debt and we're consistently keeping 5,000 or so on our credit card every month. So we started on Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University plan to get out of debt. Getting out of debt was not easy. We sold everything that we could get our hands on. We cut our budget way down. We didn't go out to eat. We didn't go to the movies. There was no shopping sprees. So the biggest key for us to get out of debt was behavior change. It was hard, but it was so worth it. I'm gonna drop a link to that in the description below. Number three. Now if you want to build, start with a basic floor plan. Make sure that this is going to serve your needs and it's exactly what you need to function, not everything that you want. It's good to plan for add-ons and future expansion, but if you really want to build it debt free, you're going to have to sacrifice some things. Now we have a mortgage free house that we absolutely love and the grass feels different, the porch feels different, sleeping in it feels different. It's just totally freeing to know that the bank doesn't own this, we own it. So if you'd like the floor plan for our house, we actually have it available over on our blog. It's $17 and it's to a one inch scale and it has descriptions of what we did for contractors and how we did the insulation and all the details of the whole thing. So hopefully it will get you started off on the right foot. Number four. Finding land was actually really, really difficult. What we ran into was that we couldn't build in certain areas because they required 60% brick homes or something like that. Don't let anyone tell you that there's no land available. There is land available. The problem is that it's probably not exactly where you want it. So you may have to move out of town, you may have to move out in the country, whatever. You're gonna have to make sacrifices and that's just the way this works. So the sacrifice is that you may have to move and that's okay because you're doing something that most people only dream of and you're gonna own your house. Number five, find your contractors. My suggestion is contact them one time and don't chase them. If they can't commit to calling you back or meeting when you decide, then give your business to someone else. I went through like four plumbers before I found one that would actually call me back and he ended up being a great guy, very reliable, did excellent work. You will thank yourself in the long run if you do this because you will find reliable, trustworthy contractors and they are not going to be the cheapest, but it's going to be worth it. Number six. Assume 25% more for your budget than what you think you're gonna spend. So if you're planning on spending 75,000, go ahead and assume 100,000. Things are gonna creep up, whether it's with the contractor or whether it's with not being able to find exactly what you're wanting in terms of your part or in terms of your faucet or whatever it is. Things are gonna happen, they're gonna cost a little bit more, so you might as well plan for it. Number seven. Be involved in the process as much as you possibly can without being irritating. We were here at our house almost every single day. Granted, we were doing a lot of the work, but when you hire contractors, just know that it's not their house. It is your house, and the more you are here and the more you're actually focused on the project, you're gonna end up with a better result. And then they know that you're involved and you're attentive, but you're not overstepping your boundaries. You are not being irritating and you're not telling them what to do. But I promise you, you will appreciate it in the long run and they will appreciate your involvement because you're always available if they have a question about something. I hope that helps with the process a little bit. I know that you're not gonna build exactly what we built, 
but the point of this video was to help get you off on the right foot so I hope it did that we've got some other videos on our house I'm gonna drop them down below I'm also gonna tag on a little bit of a house tour to the end of this so you know what we built rather than just seeing the outside of it here we would love to be able to help you on your journey whether it's becoming debt free whether it's building the house if you have questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below thanks for being here